Hi guys, Tom Morrison here. Do you like going on long walks? I know I do. But there are a few things that you can add in before and after your walk that are going to make your body feel a lot better and are also going to address your mobility over time. So we're gonna give you some examples of what you can use, but just think about walking. First of all, it's quite linear. There's not a lot of full joint movement in it. So before you walk, what you wanna think about is getting things opened up and activated. And then after your walk, you wanna think about loosening off your hips and your calves and stretching out your lower back that little bit so that your walk is going to feel more productive for you and you're not going to feel banged up all the time so you can start to push the boundaries of how far you can walk and see some more nice things so let's get stuck in so the very first thing to do as soon as you get up in the morning hopefully if you're going for your walk early you want to get nice and deep into your hips as much as you can so grab onto your door frame or anything that you can hold on to and just sit yourself down as low as you can use the whatever it is to hold yourself up okay you're not looking to start wrapping out squats here you're just looking to sit down deep and just move yourself from side to side wiggle your toes as well in position it's quite nice to do this in your bare feet move yourself from side to side rock around do this for around a minute if you're really enjoying it you could do a minute and 15 seconds then after that you're going to hop yourself up and we're going to start to get the ankles and the calves warmed up so what Jenny's going to do here is she's going to go up on her tippy toes as much as you can and then really slowly she's going to try and lift one foot up and then lower herself down to the ground nice and slow so it's up lift one foot up and then back down so you're going to do 10 reps of that so five each foot really so you're going to just go up just alternate do 10 reps and you're going to be warming up your ankles getting your balance going getting your calves going and getting all that good and um, benefits you can get from that the better you make your balance the better life goes in general after doing that after your 10 reps, you're going to want to do some kickbacks with the glute. Now, if you have a band, that's great. If you don't have a band, first of all, I'll just show you. You just kick back as much as you can. Make sure you keep your abs on like this, so you're not just arching your lower back to lift your leg. Keep the abs nice and tight, and you'll see there, Jenny, you can only extend your hip really to there, so if the lower back joins in, you get a bit further. So but you can mess around with this stuff as well. Don't be too nasty to yourself, so move yourself and do both sides swing that leg back make sure you're feeding the glutes you can even squeeze your bum first and then reach back as well and then you can just do a few that you're just swinging the leg as well so there's no right or wrong with this just get things moving like i said though if you have a resistance band it's a great thing to just throw in if you just have it wrapped around something that's nice and low and do the exact same exercise with a bit of resistance to it which is quite nice just make sure you keep that tuck with the abs and really reach back as much as you can so after you've done your 10 glute kickbacks each side you then go down into the, onto the floor and you can do bird dogs which are an absolutely awesome exercise to add into your training and they're also going to get you ready for that opposite sides of your walking so again you're looking to tighten the abs you're looking to reach the foot back as much as you can reach the hand back as much as you can alternate sides and then just change sides so 10 reps like that nice and slowly Awesome. Make sure you're breathing as well. Keep yourself nice and relaxed. Really reach. Think about reaching all the time. Don't just lift your leg and your arm up. Really think, reach. You almost want to stretch yourself out as you do this. And after you've done your 10 bird dogs, you then hop up and we're going to do an awesome exercise called a standing march. Don't make, don't take this one in the wrong way, but it looks a lot simpler than it actually is. You really want to make sure that you are getting nice positions as you're doing this. So if Jenny actually turns this side for me and we really point this out, you want your back elbow up nice and high, okay? And the front arm like this. So think cheek to cheek, so cheek to cheek as you're doing this exercise. And it's opposite arm, opposite leg, lift the knee up nice and high. Again, keep the abs tucked down like this. Really good exercise to help you out if you've got an anterior pelvic tilt as well. And just be really aware of your body position. There's so many times I've got people do this exercise and they went, oh, see, that's easy. And I've just done this. They're not really, you know, using the exercise of what it's supposed to be for. You're supposed to get a nice stretch along your torso as you actually do this exercise as well. So 12 reps like that. But again, if you're enjoying it, go for 13. Go crazy. Then after you've done that, you can continue to walk like that as we go on our walk. Come on, Jenny. So, whenever you get back from your walk, you want to start to loosen off your hips. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down on the floor. You stick a TV on as you do this. Play it casual. You're going to go into a position called the 90-90. And you can keep your hands down the floor. Just rock yourself from side to side while you're there. This front leg is externally rotated. This back leg is internally rotated. And then from there, you just swap from side to side. You're going to do it 10 times. So there will be one swap. And again, keep the hands down the floor. Don't overthink it. Just chill yourself out. You've just been for a long walk. Reward yourself. Then from there, you just rotate back to the other side. So 10 switches. So that's two now, I think. And, and just keep on going through those two positions. 
After you've done that, you want to loosen off your back that little bit. So Jenny is then going to swing her legs around to the front and she's going to do 10 bum walks forward and then 10 bum walks backwards. So you're just trying to loosen up your sides that little bit. So don't walk away, Jenny, come back, come back, come back. There we go, so 10 walks forwards, 10 walks backwards. And then whenever you've done that, you can do some ankle rotations just to loosen off the calf. So really, really good one to do. So Jenny's hugging her leg because she loves it. And then she's just gonna do 10 circles in a, which way is she going? She's going clockwise, first of all, and then she's going anti-clockwise, okay? So nice and slow, make it crunchy, and then swap sides. And that'll be well loosened up after your walk. So make sure you add those things in before and after your walks, and it's going to carry over to a ton of other things. It's gonna make you feel a lot better. It's gonna make your walks go a lot better as well, and you're going to feel absolutely awesome for it. Okay, guys?